Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here in the temperate forest zone of the zoo because I still have a craving to eat some delicious pancakes or waffles covered in maple syrup. So I thought we'd spend a little bit more time over in the maple woods today. And that is truly the reason we are going to be over in the maple woods. I, I kind of am really, really craving waffles or at least pancakes covered in syrup and it just sounds so delicious. Oh my goodness. And I think today we might even set up something uh, so that maybe one of you guys could end up here as an NPC, a non-playable character. So like one of the uh, little zookeepers that are walking around, like that guy right over there. Or Alia who is over inside of the beautiful Wisteria Cafe. Or Elven Gardener Ashland. We have a lot of A's over here because we have another Alia who actually takes care. Or Adelaide who can, takes care of the deer down there. So I don't know, maybe if your name begins with A, you've got the the deck stacked in your favor but I think we may actually uh, try to find a few uh, new NPCs to come and join our world mm -hmm. just just saying it's about time to start seeing some of you guys roam around not to mention we have several amazing NPCs and trees coming from our patreon group so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we definitely need to have a, a little bit of work going uh, Ash what are you doing oh my gosh be careful up there Ash I don't think you have feather falling but you definitely are like your auntie and you are going to do the most dangerous thing, aren't you? All right, well, sit for a second, you two. But yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm feeling it, you guys. I'm feeling like the temperate forest area is just so close to completion in a lot of ways. We'll spend a little bit more time here kind of sprucing it up and uh, adding, adding a spruce tree forest, perhaps? Eh? Eh? What do you think? Sprucing it up, spruce tree forest? Okay, look, I can see the judgmental glance I'm getting from one of my zookeepers there. Fine. Not to mention, oh, oh, yay! Ah, oh, it smells so lovely here. Not to mention all the flowers are so beautiful. I'm so happy. See, Alaya loves it here. So I want to add in more of you guys as NPCs starting, like we've been saying we're going to do that forever, but starting for real this time. And Spruce, thank you. You just had me scoop more of your poo. Uh, oh, well. All right, let's clear this up. See if it, oh, sure enough, it did grow some grass. Cut the grass, nothing inside. That's just fine. But I do love adding you guys into our world and really bringing our entire world to life with NPCs. So that's something I've been wanting to do for a long time and something I'm just gonna really have to hunker down and make myself do. But for today, I wanted to work a little bit more on the maple forest. And to do that, I need to make the paths a little better. Hmm, okay, I think I need to actually add Let's see, Those. this is our saw bench and it looks really confusing, but it is actually what makes the super duper pretty borders that we have around our exhibits now. This beautiful thing, isn't it glorious? Oh, just look at this. Finely cut, lined with only the best of the light cyan glass panes. Maple, you have lost your red wolf coloring. You look like a normal gray wolf, except the gray wolves we're going to add into our exhibits, guys, are going to be a little bit bigger. There's spruce, there's summer. Lily, don't play with the wolves. We don't need my, my dogs playing with the wolves, please. Oh, I love the red wolf exhibit. It's still one of my favorites that we've ever built and we've ever worked on. But, all right, yes. Oh, I love the saw bench because it makes this beautiful exhibit windowing and it just looks fantastic. But that's not why we were inside of the zookeeper station. I want to keep working on the path in the forest because I think it's about time to start marking off the spot. Okay, there's a lot of trees in my way, so I can't show you guys easily. But right up here is this really cool cliffside and on the top of the cliffside up there is where I want to build the gray wolf cabin retreat. So it's going to be a big beautiful retreat that people can go to and they're going to be able to uh, just have like a cabin room. They can rest. We have food with our maple little shop, the maple syrup shack we have and our picnic pickup table we have. We have some entertainment and some education with all of the deer. I can hear them from over here you guys are so noisy so noisy we've got uh the education part with some deer and red wolves and our woodpeckers in this area and our little education station but we need somewhere for people to be able to rest too so i want to make a path so we can at least start working on that project that we've talked about for ages so we're gonna head up there in just a little bit um let me go ahead and throw these dandelions and see anything else the japanese radish seed i don't need so we can turn it into compost in our wonderful compost bin. Ash was actually just playing in this compost bin. It was ridiculous. All right, you two go ahead and sit. I need to get more food for my dogs really quickly too. So let me go ahead, 
dig around. These are animal traps right over here. And it's a little bit humbling to have to go ahead and use the animal traps, but I need what we get from it. The leather in particular is very useful. All right, and we've got some eggs and there's a bone. I have a whole bunch of cool plants to put away. Oh my gosh, those deer are so noisy. Calm down, deer. All right, let's come this way. Put away the artist conch. Uh, the dirt is actually what I need to make the path. Oh, and I love finding the little amylite shards. Nice. Put the feathers away, put the eggs away for now. And I might need to fill up more bait into these animal traps. Uh, I'll take out the bone. Oh, look at the, we just caught a rabbit. I'm sorry, rabbit. It's the, the cycle of taking care of things in the zoo. We've got the whole food chain after all. Lots and lots of leather from the veggie bait. So I might need to remember that for the future because I'm always in need of more leather, it seems. All right, well, it looks like the veggie and fruit bait are pretty well stocked, so we don't need to worry about it. Wow, I've got a lot of leather in here. Oh my goodness. I always forget how much we've got hiding in this section. Um, We'll go ahead and take all of the raw chicken for my dogs. And I think I should just throw some of these seeds, like the blackberries and things. Can I just throw it in the coriander seeds? And like lemongrass and huckleberry, can I just throw these into, and carrot seeds? And blueberries, can I just throw these into the compost bin? I kind of need to clean up our little zookeeper station back here, don't I? All right, let's see. Oh, can't put these berries in, but I can put all these berries in. There we go. I guess I can go ahead and eat these. They're probably dried and old by now, but better than nothing. Am I gonna get a chick chick? Oh no, I did get a chick chick. I kind of was just joking about that. What do I do with you? Um, welcome little guy. I was literally, I was, I was just kind of joking. I didn't actually want to get a little chicken right now, but, um, um, oh, I'll put him with the woodpeckers. Okay. Come on, Lily. Come on, Ash. I keep calling you Tate, by the way, Ash. I'm sorry. All right. We've got some dog food with the raw chicken now. Oh, oh no. I have a raw chicken, but I have a little wild chick chick. Okay. We're going to put the little chick chick with the woodpeckers. I'm sure that'll work out just fine. There we go. And then we're gonna we're gonna look for some more of these beautiful wedge slopes to make a path. Ooh, I love this side of the zoo. It's just so pretty. All right, so the temperate forest bird aviary. All right, Ethan, I know that you're, ooh, I just got one of the woodpecker feathers. That's so cool. It's nice to pick these up randomly. Ethan, I know you are very busy building this interactive bird seed station for all of our zoo guests, but I just got, uh, let's see. Hello, seriously. I'm Ethan, keeper of the temperate forest, uh, the temperate forest zookeeper. I take care of the birds mostly. Yes, and he actually will help you if you bring zookeeper experience points. And I need to replace the texture for the zookeeper experience points, so don't panic if you don't recognize them. But he will help you to build different types of bird feeders. Right now, we only have a goldfinch feeder, but if you come by with sunflower seeds and a seed bag, then you can build a goldfinch feeder with our wonderful zookeeper here. And you can add goldfinches into any area in your world. And I really love that. We need to teach Ethan how to make some other feeders of different types. So maybe people could have woodpeckers near them. Maybe they could have blue jays. That would be really fun. But for now, Ethan, please watch after this itty bitty little baby chicken. And maybe it will end up following this, this like adorable little chickadee and, and you'll just stay here. And I forgot how beautiful it was in here. Maybe I can eat lunch in here somehow. Uh, I do have, hmm, I'll have some peach tea. Let's just sit down for a moment. Uh, ignoring the adorable chickadee who is under our feet and admire the zoo for a second because holy moly I forget we've done so much when we spend so much time over in the unfinished areas of our zoo I forget how much we've accomplished and look you can see an int way in the distance there. That's pretty impressive, too But yeah, wow this is the potential of what the rest of our zoo could look like if I just got it together. Oh gosh. Well, that's very motivating. All right. Though I should talk a little bit kinder to myself. It has been a very busy year. I can't believe... And actually, I've got an extra chest. And this is the picnic pickup station. And Ben is hanging out here. And there's some mysterious bugs over here. He's always collecting those uh, little bug eggs of all types and uh, growing bugs. So it's really fun to talk to him too because, hang on, there we go. Because he's just got mystery bug eggs you can get. He's got beautiful flowers you can get. Oh, so much, so much. He kind of, he collects all of them and just sells them to you. And you can also bring him cherry smoothies or peanut butter and jelly 
jelly sandwiches and oh that's just so exciting all right ben i will probably come by and grab some of the the flowers from you in the future i knew i had some little stations left over here though huh yeah it doesn't look like i have any of the carpenter slopes this is why we have to have the carpenter whoa Oh yeah, Gardener Mace! I totally forgot I was working with you over here to build up this thing. Oh my gosh, my memory is so bad because it's been so long. All right. Thankfully, guys, as far as what we're going to do with Zudasia, we're definitely keeping our feet firmly on the ground now. What happened, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys the story. This, whoops, what the heck am I making? I'm going to tell you this kind of Kind of interesting, kind of tragic, kind of silly story whilst we go ahead and make a few of the carpenter slopes so we can make paths through our forest. But what kind of happened is that I got really worn out and sad because we would get such nasty comments sometimes about not doing enough in the zoo and not building enough exhibits fast enough. And if you guys have been with zoo crafting for a long time, and we've had this talk many, many times because I am very... <laughs> I am very sensitive to this, I suppose. I'm just going to be honest about that. But uh, there we go, carpenter wedges. But we've had this talk a lot, and it's because zoo crafting started out when I was brand new at YouTube. I had never done anything like that before. It was just kind of a pet passion project, and I really loved it. But I. I love the pace of it. I love just going one little thing at a time, exploring and building with you guys. I love discovering everything at our own pace. I I love building up the characters of the world and the tiny details and just showing up day after day. I had a personal challenge to make zoo crafting a daily series and it was a daily series for almost three years. And then like new people would come and they would just talk about like, oh, this is so dumb. Nothing ever gets done in the zoo. And there's definitely elements of truth to that. But what I lost sight of was that's okay. <laughs> I thought, oh no. Oh no, my precious zoo crafting. Oh, I'm so sorry that it's not what everybody else wants it to be. And I would try to make zoo crafting uh, into what everyone else wanted. And you can see the days where it just, pew, my heart just went out of it. And it was really sad. And there's fluffy mittens just jumping around. Those kinds of funny random moments. And it's really funny because in our Patreon community, a lot of the people there are there because they fell in love with zoo crafting ages and ages ago and it's really awesome to talk to them and be like but why why do you love it why did you love it and they talk about all those funny moments all those unexpected slow moments where we just were ourselves and the longer i've i've done this and i think this is a good story to tell everybody because it's a good story in kind of following what you love but the longer i have done this the more i have learned you just got to follow your heart and what makes you happy, do that. Because when you try to start doing the things that make other people happy first, you're going to lose your heart in it. And and if you lose your heart in it, you're just not going to get anything done. I promise you. You might think, oh, no, no, I can, I can suck it up. But it's so much better to see somebody just run around and do what they love, even if it's super silly and even if it takes forever. It's just awesome to show up and share that kind of journey with them versus showing up and watch someone be professional to me. Like watch them be like, and now we do this and now we do that. And here is here's this template of my speech to you that I can I can give about our, our project. I don't know. I don't know. You guys, if you understand what I'm trying to say, awesome. If you don't, don't worry about it. The moral of the story is that I'm just gonna have fun. I'm just gonna have fun and work on my little maple wood building. <laughs> and also for those of you who have been around, you have heard this proclamation many, many times. I, I know I need to earn your trust back by showing up constantly, but I'm excited to. All right, Ash. All right, Lily. Lily, are you sniffing the, the maple wood, eh? Basically, guys, don't let other people chase you away from the things that bring you joy. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. As long as it is something healthy and safe for you and healthy and safe for others, then I promise you the beauty it can bring is going to be better in the long run if you just stay true to, to what makes you happy about it. But all right, so we're building a little maple syrup forest. I, I like the beginning of it. We have a little path coming on in. And I really feel like the maple syrup forest needs to continue for a little bit more, like go in this direction. So where's my little axe? My glorious grafter. 
And also there's a moral in the idea of just not taking things so seriously. And people people can take things way too seriously. So we're just gonna go ahead and enjoy our, our life together, my friends. And it's gonna be slow sometimes and silly sometimes. <gasps> and I haven't even told you guys a terrible thing happened. A terrible thing happened, you guys. You remember the Sword of Light? Oh no. <laughs> I accidentally dropped it and it despawned. It just poofed into thin air and I was so upset and distressed and I had to tell some of my friends about it and they consoled me and said, you know what? That just means we're going to have to go out and we shall adventure in the world and we're going to have to go on a grand adventure looking for a new weapon from all of those artifact uh, little temples, those wizard towers that for some reason show up in our world in the future and I am so excited about that. We get to go on a big journey. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so much fun. It has been a long time since we have gone on a big journey or plant collecting journey. And already my heart just is singing and feels so light. Oh my gosh. I'm quite, I'm quite the happy duck right now. Speaking of happy ducks, I kind of want to go hang out with our like actual ducks for a little bit. But let's work on this for now. All right. Ash, I saw that. You stole all of those pieces, didn't you? All right. Well, I guess he's in the mood for that right now. So I don't want to make the path through this maple forest very big because I want it to kind of I want it to kind of be like you can come over and you can collect from each of the trees. So we might want a little path connecting up each one of the maple trees and maybe we'll be able to have a maple expert come and join our zoo as an NPC. And actually, a lot of you guys are, are used to maple, like collecting maple from trees. It was really cool. It was so exciting to see how many of you actually have schools where your school has maple trees. And so as part of your special science projects, you would go and harvest maple from the maple trees. That was so cool to me. My school definitely didn't have anything like that. We had little tiny gardens, like little tiny classroom gardens that we would uh, each take care of in our courtyard but my elementary school was in texas so it wasn't it wasn't quite um i don't think i don't think it had the ability to even possibly have maple trees very very hot there i remember we we didn't even have like a garden outside of the courtyard and i think we only had the courtyards because they were inside the middle of our elementary school and protected from the fierce texas heat but let's see and then you can wiggle over here collect up whoops there we go. Collect up this maple syrup. Let's go ahead, maybe wiggle over here. All right, we'll put a little path right there. See, that's kind of what I want. I want it to be like you can come up and you can visit each of the trees. Knowing me, I'm probably going to end up naming each one of the trees. Um, I think I need to sort of smush this area a little bit. And then this area back here... Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, come, come to me, appetite. <gasps> Yay, we got a lantern of the forest. Oh, so pretty. But then you'll be able to wiggle over this direction. Let me collect all these up really quickly. Yeah, I think the maple, the maple forest should possibly spread like over here a little bit. And then maybe over there a little bit. Oh, look, and we have a beautiful bluebird. No wonder we had a bird singing in our ear the whole time we were down there. That's really awesome. But then, like, spread this way a little bit, I think. And then over here, about here, we'll start making it. I wonder if I should put a path to sort of indicate what I'm thinking about. But I was thinking right about here, we could go ahead and start going in this direction. And let's see, I'm going to take this tree out. Sorry, trees. I'm learning you really have to clear the forest to build it sometimes. And then we'll keep going straight. So all of this, I think, should be a maple wood of some kind. And we might have like a specialized maple wood NPC. Also, I will probably make special episodes called Coining Our NPCs, like we used to do, where you can apply to become an NPC. And I will use a random generator to make it as fair as possible. So we'll probably be doing that. And of course, Patreons actually get uh, some wonderful NPCs every single month that I need to add in and some trees. So that's going to be really fun. But uh, yeah, don't 
don't uh, don't go like I want to be the Maple NPC right now. Totally share your stories. Holy moly, you guys had some fantastic stories about being able to have maple and grow maple trees and harvesting maple. It was so cool to see. Like I said, how many of you have that as your science projects in school? So totally feel free to share those stories. But hang on on the NPC thing because we'll get there. Uh, so just just FYI. But yeah, I think we'll have the maple forest cover this spot. This spot may be a little bit over to that spot, but we're going to have to see. I'm going to want to make a path. Oh my, look at this. Pretty. I'm going to want to make a path that connects up with our beautiful redwood tree in the future for sure. And then this direction, dun 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 dun, is where we're going to lead up this little hillock. And up here is going to be the Great Wolf Cabins. And they're the Great Wolf Lodge. And I'm actually thinking we'll build the actual lodge, like itself right here. Really big, think big arched ceilings and think this gigantic co cobblestone fireplace. Maybe some really cool mock antlers that we can build with tiny little divincing blocks over the fireplace. Really cool, like you step in and it's like some sort of Yellowstone uh, resort cabin lodge place. And then the actual cabins themselves, because the lodge and its grounds and maybe like its fancy restaurant will be so big up here, the actual cabins themselves, we might build up there. So we might actually build the individual cabins you can rent from the lodge up on top of this mountain. And we might have to find some cool way that people can either walk across some sort of bridge or something. Maybe we could have, if I can figure out how to build it, maybe we could have some sort of sky tram take you up to your individual cabins that will be up with the winter exhibits. So what do you think about that? I need to figure out how I could make some sort of like sky tram, maybe using a bunch of redstone and some fancily built uh, little, little railways. That would be really cool. So you can go from the big lodge in the temperate forest up to the winter woods where your individual cabin is waiting for you. So I think that'll be really fun. That's my idea. And then the other thing I realized I need to do, oh my goodness, there's so many trees. There's so many trees, is actually connect up, no, nope, the wrong spot, <laughs> is connect up, dun dun dun, the top area up here. And you can see the Wolf Lodge cabin retreat has been planned for ages. You can see my house from here too, interesting. Including my big gigantic aquarium. Jeez, it's been forever since I've looked in there. Oh, I'm so happy to be back. And just relaxed and not letting people tell me how to build my zoo. Oh my goodness. And then uh, right under our feet here. Yeah, where those little leaves are. Oh, look, you can see the little path. Yeah, that helps. This is where we have our Temperate Force Zookeeper Station. And I'm realizing I keep running the path back and forth, but I should probably about here yeah there's the animal trap we were at earlier i need to maybe build like a little switchback going down down here so that i can make a loop so i can have a big loop so that we can get our work done a little bit faster so there's another idea too oh my goodness i'm so excited there's so many things to do and it's gonna take forever but that's okay because guys one of the beautiful things about this world and the years of time we have put into it is just showing up and sharing the adventures and some little snippets of nature news and growing together as a community over time. It's been really surreal to see people say, yes, I've grown up on zoo crafting. And here we are still adding in things, still creating. And I absolutely love that. So keep an eye out. Pretty soon I want to make a little special side quest video where we will do some coining some jobs. You guys can apply to become NPCs. We'll do it through random generator to make it as fair as possible. And then we can start seeing the world finally come to life like I've been saying for so long. I want it to, to happen. But thank you so much to all the people in the Patreon Discord and to all of you who have sent in letters and have sent in messages. It's been a wild, bumpy ride. And if you've seen my vlog channel, you know a few of the details why to get back here. But I just want you guys to remember, never criticize somebody for the joy they bring into the world. If it is truly a good thing, there's no reason to do that. And you never know what their joy might grow, even if it's slow and maybe not always to your taste. If you just, you let it grow. You know what I mean? So, so don't, joy is not a weed, even if it grows very slowly. So don't pluck it out of the garden of life. Ugh, I'm going to have to work on that metaphor. Come back in a little while. But it, it takes a bit to become a, 
master poet. All right, but alrighty, I'm going to get a little bit more of this path cleared up. I think we're going to plant some more maple trees. I'm really feeling the maple thing. I don't know why. It's probably because Chips won't let me have a waffle maker. And like, this is my way of rebelling by, by setting it up so that I can have an entire forest of maple syrup and delicious waffles. But I have cleared out most of the waffles from the syrup shack eating them now. So we might have to actually make more before we get an NPC in there, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'm just, I'm just loving the slow, steady, happy adventure. Ash, you're sitting on a torch. Do be careful, my boy. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.